Hello viewers! Welcome to Let's Play Civilization 5 with Buzdovan. Today we will start another game, a special game, a game with special rules for human player, uh, another set of game uh, rules. Uh, this game to which we will start today is called Split Empire. Why Split Empire? Well, um, if you play this game for some time, you will end up with uh, two uh, sub empires, smaller empires, which you need to manage very careful, carefully to win this game. Uh, before we start the game, let's uh, let me explain um, the rules of the, the this uh, version of the game. Uh, first, some definitions. Um, a continent. A continent is a land mass. With, which has at least one initial capital of any civilization on it. So everything which is not a continent is an island. So if there is a larger land mass, usually it's larger, it doesn't matter how large it is, but if it has a, an initial capital on it, then it is a continent. If it does not have initial capital, it, if it just has some, some non-capital cities, then this is an island. So Split Empire uh, can be played on uh, with any civilization except Polynesia. Uh, if you pick Polynesia the game is a little bit easier so if you want an easier game pick Polynesia but then that's not official. Officially Polynesians are not allowed to use uh, in this game. Uh, the game can be played on uh, sh uh, must be played on continents map, but it can be any size, can be any speed, can be any difficulty. And uh, for the human player, the game has two two uh, special rules which the human player needs to follow. Uh, so uh, the first rule says that the player must settle the first city, the, the primary capital, on of course on a continent, and this continent is called a primary continent. And the second city has to be settled on another continent, and this continent is called secondary continent. So first city on one continent and second city on another continent. And then this game has just one rule left. So the second rule says that the number of cities a player has on a primary continent and the number of cities a player has on a secondary continent have to be equal or they have to differ just for one city. So this means that the player needs to grow uh, needs to grow their the, the both empires gradually uh, the, the growth uh, in the number of cities has to be balanced uh, so uh, the both empires must have equal number sub-empires, smaller empires so on each of both continents uh, should have equal number of cities or this number should be off by just one city so if you have let's say three cities in the primary on the primary continent you can have three cities on a secondary continent. You can also have four cities on a, con on a secondary continent, but you cannot have five or six. So the difference has to be zero or one or minus one, depends how you subtract the numbers. And uh, according to uh, uh, the final goal to, to win this game is uh, of course domination victory. So Using these two special rules, a player has to achieve domination victory. Uh, so, uh, okay, and that's it. Uh, and because of these special rules, um, you see that a human player will uh, be um, uh, very uh, will be tempted to to go to astronomy as soon as possible because until the human player reaches astronomy he cannot settle the second city unless if he has he, he is lucky and the he he is uh, on a, on a map where 
uh, the continents are connected with shallow waters so that, that uh, even uh, without astronomy units can uh, sail to another continent but that's that's just a factor of luck if this happens it is it is uh, it happens sometime if this happens then of course the player can reach uh, can build a secondary city before uh, reaching uh, astronomy uh, so exploration is very important you need to explore in early game uh, see if if there is a potential secondary continent which you can reach with, without astronomy if not you need to uh, hurry as fast as possible to astronomy to build a second city because only then you are allowed to expand and you need to expand equally on both sides on both continents primary and secondary continent need to be need to be expanded uh, very balanced so the number of cities has to be equal or off by just one city uh, also as a remark it's not a rule but uh, you may want to start on a coast uh, that's that's not a rule it's just um, a hint or a remark uh, because if it's not a coastal city the first city then you are not able to explore the waters uh, until you reach um, Ast astronomy and you will not have a, a you will not be able to build caravel immediately you will have to go without a caravel with your units across the ocean and settle on the, the another continent it's possible it's not impossible but uh, with uh, if you start uh, on uh, se in center lo location if you start uh, um, inland uh, but I think starting on a coast is uh, is much easier and it gives you better potential uh, for exploration and for expansion. So uh, I hope you uh, uh, understand the rules, um, and I think it's time to start the game. Um, I'm going to set up a new game. Um, we will use uh, yeah, Nebuchadnezzar here uh, why? because of their unique ability so I want to be uh, I want to be able to uh, get my science up and I think their unique ability to get a, a free a great scientist with writing is very important to for the for my rush towards uh, astronomy uh, the game is played on continents map so this is obligatory yeah, I will choose standard game standard size Emperor difficulty standard pace in the advanced settings I will just click uh, quick combat for faster battle resolutions and Yes, I think we're all set to start a game and I hope I will get a coastal start otherwise I will lose some turns to find a coast. Let's see. May the blessings of heaven be upon you, O great Nebuchadnezzar, father of mighty and ancient Babylon. Young was the world. Okay, oh, lucky me. <laughs> this is really a coastal start. Um, I think this looks quite promising. Let me just peek here okay there is also some wine but it is one two three it's out of reach but I think this start is very nice so I will just I have ivory I have spices wine is just out of my reach but I don't care I think I'll be fine here well production will suffer a little bit there's not much uh, much heals there is one heal but even I think here I see I think this is a low land so I'll just found a city here uh, actually I, this I think this is very lucky I tried this game two times before playing it now uh, uh, publicly here uh, in this let's play session and every time I started, um, I was uh, my start was inland, so I I lost like five turns to to find the nearest coast. So 
I, I was lucky there. Um, so what do we want to build first? Let's, of course, we will build a scout first, no questions there. Yeah, so what about the... Uh, I think this is good. Good tile, so we, we are growing and our scout is coming out. So what do we want to research? Let's see, let's see first if we have horses. I hope we have horses, this would be nice. Uh, production is really, really not uh, my strong point here. Uh, okay, this forest will provide some production. Maybe here, even this is out of reach. One, two, three. Actually, I'm, I'm not... Let's see the hex grid. One, two, yeah, this is... Okay. Let's start. Next turn. So, uh, let me just explain why my strategy here is, of course, as soon as possible to open astronomy, because only with astronomy I will be able to go around. In the meantime, I will also be uh, very quickly picking sailing, uh, because I will I will want to go around this my primary continent to see if there are shallow waters to go to the second uh, continent. This will this would uh, speed everything up because I will not be uh, forced to enter Renaissance era with astronomy, which is not that common strategy. Um, of course, uh, a very important that I pick writing very soon and I uh, with. Uh, great scientist that I receive, I will build an academy, so this will shorten this research times here. Um, so animal husbandry, writing, sailing, calendar of course, because I think we have some incense, uh, trapping as well because we have ivory, um, so this is roughly my strategy, I can also line up these technologies, let's put them like this, writing, then we'll see sailing or calendar. Okay, let's explore, let's see what's down there. Okay, some more ivory. Next turn. Okay, ruins. Next turn. Let's see, did we get culture yes so as, as for at least uh, until i hit renaissance and uh, expand to the another con to another continent i will be playing with just one city so in this first phase i will focus on culture as well uh, and growth i want my city to to grow i will have enough uh, happiness i think to grow uh, at least to grow uh, this uh, uh, Babylon city. Uh, let's go here with a, where there is no forests. Um, and then I'll switch as soon as I'm able to, uh, as soon as I settle on another continent, I'll switch my strategy from culture to uh, more to the expansion type. Um, so that's also uh, the reason why this uh, why this um, game is interesting because this uh, the game has certain dynamics in the first part of the game you're quite restricted you just have your capital city which you need to grow because they actually provide everything for you from buildings to units uh, and then you have a very unusual um, research path you have to uh, you are tempted to uh, go to uh, astronomy very early and as soon as this happens you hit astronomy you move your f second settler across the ocean you settle your second city then you are the, you are forced to be more uh, like uh, expansionist warmonger because by the time you settle your next city all the civilizations will 
have there maybe three, four, maybe even five cities and uh, the land which you uh, needed to um, leave open uh, will be taken by that time and of course instead of uh, claiming this land with your early settlers you will have to fight for it so uh, this really changes the dynamics and of course uh, uh, the game is harder than standard ones because uh, special rules always give you some limitations some uh, actually without uh, modding the game without uh, software changes you cannot make the game easier for you you can just make it harder by with extra rules but I think that's fine because anyway um, as I as I read on the forums people usually complain that the game is too easy um, that they simply um, uh, find all kinds of exploits and so they usually complain that the game is too easy and using the special rules it, it becomes uh, a bit harder uh, actually a great deal harder um, it can be very hard um, and uh, yeah and it's it is uh, more interesting to play at least for me now we uncovered quite some land and I don't see any civilization I hope we're not alone on this island um, on this uh, continent sorry this is a continent because why because uh, by definition there oh archery perfect mining would be better but okay uh, so because we have Babylon on this landmass this is considered a continent because Babylon is a primary capital city um, and we have horses perfect Okay, another ruins. Um, mm, I am uh, I am concerned that maybe I am alone on this map <laughs> because if I am alone, then um, then the game will be well, let's say different. Um, maybe even a bit easier okay let's take legalism for free monument this would be unusual if such a big island would be left to just one player um, but I uh, ah yeah there there is a there is a, the first neighbor Polynesians okay, yeah, yeah. hello hello next turn okay but there's a large uh, I will I think I need to move my uh, spearman back into the city and I will just use this uh, scout to explore but there's a nor an enormous land here for me and uh, unfortunately I will not be able to claim it and uh, until I settle the city on another continent um, and by then when I settle the city on another continent the other civilization will pick this this part of the land so I will have to win this land with swords and guns and whatever I have I will have at that time so my strategy will shift from small culture type 
to warmonger expansion type let's see okay I think okay there is the end of the content oh I have horses perfect actually I think I was quite lucky with my start uh, I would prefer some more hills but otherwise very lucky I think uh, let's see yeah this gives me I'll start with first I'll build I think I'll build uh, let's build I'll build a farm here for for growth I, I will have for for quite some time I will have just one city and I want to grow it I really want to grow this city big okay okay just in time the warrior the barbarians are coming uh, plus growth in the capital yes I want to grow my capital as I said so this will grow now really fast mm. um, well worker I don't think I need a warrior yet uh, maybe another scout granary yes granary for some more growth so I'm going super crazy now with my growth I want my capital to be very big okay let's see okay you pick that farm okay so seven turns until new citizen is born okay oh, okay um, do I want to go there I think there's nothing this is a a very interesting bay area here large inland but not so large but quite large inland sea or uh, bay um, let's go here cover the workers we don't want our production to be disturbed in any way so oh I think I see something yellow okay yellow this is probably Egyptians so we are not alone after all this would be really strange if we would have such a big continent for ourselves uh, but what is very good though is that we are so far away from all the other civilizations uh, this will make this game much easier than it would be if we would be close to another civilization okay we still have we will also improve the other wheat tile we still have, have happiness for growth actually wait a minute uh, yeah I think it's okay yeah then we still have three happiness so that's plus three civilization by then we will uh, hook up these spices and we will still be able to grow further let's see who's there Rio de Janeiro we are the first to discover it next turn he who destroys a good book kills reason itself okay let's move away oh barbarians yeah, that's what I that's what I mentioned before the barbarians are uh, destroying your production okay let's build right where you are I will build an academy and this very good this will now um, e speed my technology so fast so see in five turns all these texts sailing calendar philosophy nine this is now a great deal shorter 
Um, so what do we want to pick next? Um, when I go up, I think I'll need sailing or calendar. I'll take first calendar, then sailing, then trapping. Okay, I see some. Let's go down just to see what's down there. Okay. Wait a turn. Next turn. Alright, if they want to. Well, can I run away? I think I can. Go here. Let's move up there up there. The grinder is finished and now I want to build a great library. Next turn. You just wait, you build wheat. Next turn. Calendar. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a barbarian encampment with a with an injured barbarian. More experience for my units. Don't stop, just build it. I can but I simply I don't see any use in taking the encampment. Open terrain. Ooh. There is a barbarian encampment right outside my borders. But uh, very interesting. Uh, the continent is uh, closed here on, in the, on the northern and south. So there's just this small v-shaped peninsula and that's it so another nice city spot here so we have grown again uh, yes I'll switch to here for, with, for more production 17 turns until great library <coughs> I'll go back. Mm. More land. More land in the south. We have sailing. Okay, wheat is up. The city is growing nicely. In three turns we will have another citizen and now we need to take care. I think I'll, I'll go up, try to clear this camp. Okay, so we met Egypt. Do we want to open borders? No, not yet. Oh yes, they are here. In the south. Mm. Oh no, no, no. There's sim there's simply too much. <laughs> and we will take aristocracy so that the library will be built sooner. Next turn. And also when we clear this forest, we will add some production. Uh, I think I'll... Hmm. 
I really need two units now here. What the heck? If they pillage this wheat, so be it. I think it's more important that I protect the workers down there. Oh yes. Just do the... Oh. Wow, I don't have... No. Actually, I need mining. So after trapping, go to mining quickly. Like this. I completely forgot I need mining for this. Oh yeah. So I'll build. Even I'll I'll uh actually Okay, you need some orders. Go down. So oh there's still it's a large continent actually. Um yeah, let's just just connect the ivory. Helsinki. How many turns? Five turns and we will grow in eight. Perfect. Um, next turn. Let's see what is down there. There should be more civilizations, I think. It's still a large, large continent. Um, so I, so this will be the end of uh, part one of Split Empire. Um, it started very interesting. Um, we were very lucky to start on a coast. Uh, so we didn't lose turns looking for coastal start. Also, another factor, uh, luck factor, was that we are quite distant from the nearest civilizations like Polynesians and Egyptians. Mm. This means we will remain peaceful for quite some time. Uh, so we are able to focus on, uh, on uh, growth, on production, on... Uh, on science production uh, we are now on our way to build uh, the great library which will even which will even more add even more uh, dynamics to our uh, science production so yeah the short-term goal is to uh, build some early naval units explore around this continent see if we can uh, embark without uh, uh, astronomy otherwise we will go to astronomy send uh, a caravel together with a settler and some some units uh, across the ocean to settle our second city that thing that's it uh, that's it for part one uh, I hope you enjoyed this game uh, stay tuned and see you in the next part